this video we're going to create a pivot table in Excel that includes custom groupings or buckets. So you can see here I have a data set of past due invoices for different clients. We have amount due and this last field is the number of days past due for each invoice. What we want to do is add a pivot table that summarizes our data in buckets or groupings of days past due ranges like 1 to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30, and so on and so on. So I'm going to click anywhere in this data set. I'm going to go up to insert and then pivot table. I'm going to select from table range. It's automatically going to grab all this data set, all the adjacent cells and then it's going to ask you where you want this pivot table to be placed. The default is on a new worksheet that gets added or we can select the second option to add it to the sheet we're on now. So if I select the second option it's going to ask for a cell location of the begin point so I'm just going to click anywhere up here click OK. So we get a blank pivot table to the right here we have pivot table dialog box with all of the fields in our data set and then we can drag them down here based on how we want them displayed in this pivot table so the first thing I want to do is add our labels so I'm gonna grab our days past due field and drag it down to our row labels we're going to shortly here convert that to buckets but before we do that I'm going to get our amount field and put it in our value section so I'm gonna from this drop down menu here in our amounts due I'm gonna select value field settings and then click on number format and set this to currency so to add buckets all you need to do is right click in your pivot table go to group and for numeric fields like this it's automatically just going to get the lowest and highest points for the starting and ending points and then it's going to default to buckets of 10 so if you want to change these you can I'm just gonna leave it as is for now and click OK now the problem with this is the lowest value in my days past due is 3 so it starts the buckets at 3 you may not want that so I can right click again go back to group I can change this to 1 I'm fine with this endpoint because it's an even number and I may change the bucket groupings from 10 to 20 click OK and there it is now the one thing I really like about this is you can drill into this make sure when you're drilling you drill into the amount column so I'm gonna double click here and you can see well, let me blow that up a little bit this shows the detail on all of the records that fell into that bucket which was 21 to 40 and you can see based on these values here that is all of that so in this next example we're gonna look at creating a group when the field that we want to group by is a text field which is a different animal from that of a number field in our previous example so in this data set we have loan records and we have one column called location that has four different values east north south and west what we want to do is create custom groups where east and north are one group and south and west is another group so I'm gonna click anywhere in this data set go to insert and then pivot table pivot table from range this time I'm going to go with this default option to add the pivot table to a new sheet. So I'll click OK. I'm going to blow this up a little so we can see what we're looking at. In this dialog box to the right, 
the first thing I'm going to do is drag our location field down to our row labels. So we have them there. I'm going to drag our loan amount field to our values. I'm going to select value field settings from this drop down menu. Click on number format and then currency and OK. Now to group text fields, you just need to select the two, two or more fields you want to group. Right click group. So that creates a generic group one. I'll show you in a second how to change the name. And then we have south and west that we want to group by as well. So I'm going to click in this first cell, hold down my control key, keep it held and click this next cell and then right click, go to group. That creates a second group of those two values. So now if I want to change the names, I can click in this cell, hit F2 to go into edit mode, change this to whatever I want. I'll just call this Northeast. Click here, F2, Southwest. And now we have our custom groupings. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching.